vehicles through which the Absolute speaks are limited and impure by, by their selfishness. Ah. So the problem with speaking for God... But wait a second, wait a second. Hold up there. Selfishness. Selfishness is created from God, isn't it? In your worldview, right? Let's be all selfish. Why wouldn't we? Why is selfishness something bad out of a sudden? Is that you have to be extremely pure and totally, utterly selfless to speak for God. Mm-hmm. You have to be so pure to be able to speak for God that you literally have to die and become God. Then you can speak as I'm speaking to you now. No, not as you are speaking to me now. Thank you very much, Leo. The only one that could do that is Jesus Christ, God's only begotten son. And the moment that you realize that all the data that we have, about Jesus, including the Bible, is actually historical data and that Jesus was real, then you will be open to the idea to understand his teachings. Not in this new age context where we just pick and choose. We cherry pick, right? Jesus did a lot of good things, so you can be just like Jesus as well. You are cherry picking things of our religion that you want to use for your new age BS. But the moment that you step out of this delusion and realize that the only true son of God is Jesus Christ, that he is God, then you will understand your mediocrity. You will understand how little you are. You will understand that it is not to you to pretend to be God. You are an imposter. You are nothing more and nothing less. And we have been warned of people just like yourself. But, of course, people will perceive this as insanity, um, as they must, because they're not awake to themselves being God. So it's not that I'm speaking down to you. <laughs> I hope this is recording. Yeah, it is. Just got to check my battery here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't get too wrapped up in the God business. You know, got to look out for the survival of the battery. Um, that's a real thing. So if I want to shoot this video and be able to upload it in the future, you know, I got to look out for that relative aspect of of consciousness. You see oh, how it you. works? Everything is relative. So enlightened. So, <laughs> okay, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, so, okay, I don't want to, let me get back on track. Right, so about the purity. So, the reason that all throughout history there have been, I mean, there's been Moses and, and Buddha and Jesus and, mm. and thousands of others, and you know, those same. are just that come easily to my mind right now, to the Leo avatar mind. Um, there have been thousands. You do understand that if you would read the Bible, you will see that Moses and Jesus are distinctly different. Do you understand this? Moses got in contact with God. Yes, that is true. But the only son of God, I have to repeat myself, is Jesus. And I do understand that this concept is hard to grasp because, as I already mentioned, I come from this new age background myself. I never called it new age, just like yourself. I called it maybe spirituality, enlightenment, pursuit, I am realization and whatnot. The reality of things is that I denied Jesus myself. I want to see him as a cool hippie dude that just found enlightenment, God realization, Christ consciousness. But why do we even call it Christ consciousness? Because people want to emulate it. And as I said, Jesus warned us of it. You didn't realize the same as Jesus because you are not the son of God. There is a separation. There is a distinction. Even if you grasp the Holy Spirit, which I really do not believe, even if that would have been the case, it is a temporary experience evoked by probably psychedelic drugs. It's thousands, maybe tens of thousands of these. The, the problem is, you know, Muhammad and so forth. The problem... Uh, Mohammed as well, yeah? Sorry. <laughs> Got a burp. <sighs> Disgusting. It's amazing because I feel like a, a perfect super... There's no sense of self-consciousness anymore. So there's no embarrassment. And the reason there's no embarrassment is because I'm so awake right now that I'm absolutely conscious. The entire universe is conscious of everything, every part of itself. <sighs> Therefore, there's no one to hide from because mm. the only one that exists is myself. <laughs> so who am I hiding from? What is the point of embarrassment? 
because embarrassment is just, again, it's a completely dualistic notion. There's like a, a me and a you. There's a secret that needs to be kept. There's something I don't want to show to you. But um, the beauty of perfect awakening is that the, nothing needs to be hidden. Your whole life you've been hiding and keeping secrets. Exactly. We ate from the tree of knowledge. We have the wisdom of good and evil. This is what you don't want to accept. You just want to eradicate the wisdom of good and evil. You want to step back from that realization and go back into the Garden Eden. This is your urge that you do not identify correctly. Because here there is a reason for good and evil distinction. Because we have good and evil. It is very very simple. There is a reason why you don't take your pants off right now and show us your d Why don't you do it? If you are so enlightened, if there are no secrets, take down your pants and show everything to prove your point. And secret shames and things you've been embarrassed about that you didn't want to reveal about, you know, to anybody. Why didn't you want to reveal these things? Because it threatened your survival. <laughs> you see? But right now, when I'm conscious that survival is completely relative and that I'm absolutely eternal and that I can't die because death is just my own imagination. <laughs> 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 See, I mean, the Leo avatar can die. You might say, oh, well, but I can come and hurt Leo. Of course you can hurt Leo. The Leo avatar can die at any moment. It doesn't matter <laughs> because the absolute will speak through everything. The absolute is everything speaking through everything all the time. <laughs> And the only, it's, it's perfect self-love, perfect beauty. <laughs> I am perfect self-love. You are perfect self-love, but you don't realize that you're perfect self-love because of the- No, I'm good, Leo. I love myself. Eternal resistances and the fear that you have. The only thing that's keeping you from realizing that you're God is your fear. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Your entire life, all of your karma, uh. everything that you struggled with, all the internal resistances, all the suffering you have in your life, all it is is fear. It all boils down to fear. It's a complicated, super tangled web. Namaste, bro. All right. So yet again, a false prophet here telling you that you are God. The only thing that is keeping you is your fear. That sounds very familiar. Yet again, it leads back to the Garden Eden, where the serpent misled Eve into eating the apple, the original sin that he wants to deny as well. He wants to use names such as karma. That is fine. Go with it. You are just deluding yourself. As I said, pretty soon you will see a shift in consciousness again. And on his channel, he won't be able to embody God. What is keeping you from it? Is it the fear? What is holding you back? Your in pure vessel. It is absolute delusion. Anyways, let's continue for a bit. The video is super long. I probably will have to cut it into two parts. You have woven for yourself in order to survive. And once that entire dynamic of survival is seen to be absolutely relative, it has no importance no value whatsoever. It doesn't matter if I die the next moment. Nothing right now matters. That is great. And the reason it doesn't matter is because there's no time. Hmm. Every moment is eternal. I have existed forever and I will continue to exist forever. Even after this body dies. It, it, what holds you from killing yourself? Honest question. It makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. It's utterly remarkable. Completely unbelievable. It's so good. It's so beautiful um, that by this point I'm beyond tears. I already shed my tears for a good 10 minutes before I started shooting. Just, just so you're clear. <laughs> okay. I, I spent about, uh, I spent a few minutes shedding tears. Then I spent a, a few minutes just laughing hysterically. Mm. Just laughing Sounds hysterically. <laughs> just, it's, it, it's laughter so deep that it, it shakes and purifies the whole body. And then I spent, I've spent a few minutes just shaking my entire body loose mm. of, of, of just delusion upon delusion upon delusion. All of the egoic survival mechanisms that, that were Leo, that created Leo, that allowed Leo to, to be here right now speaking to you, all of them 
um, all of them need to be purified. And right now, so the sad. body and the mind, as I'm sitting here speaking with you, is going through that purification process. It's all happening in the background. Hmm. As See, we're multitasking here. <laughs> on the foreground, I'm communicating to you that ego sitting on the opposite side over there Fantastic. Um, of the screen. Thank and, you. Uh, and then this thing here, the avatar. So the absolute is speaking. <laughs> sure. And this avatar. This whole God and sound the language like. and the cool. mouth and all the muscles. It's moving. The mind that it's using, all the symbolic machinery that's being leveraged. You know, this is 35 years. This avatar is 35 years old, almost. Uh, in April, it will be. And uh, it took 35 years of developing this avatar, putting this avatar through the ringer, through education, through high school, through university, through the ringer of life, experiencing all the shit that it's experienced, going through all the delusions that it's gone through, all the belief systems that it's gone through, um, all the spiritual paths that it's gone through, all the meditation routines. It's, it's taken all of that to get this avatar to this point, to build it up to the point where now there could have been a full and complete and absolute realization. So what happened was that avatar, really, that avatar was made up, made up of... Um, tangled up consciousness. That consciousness Ugh. now has been completely untangled and now the absolute is perfectly clear speaking through the avatar. Mm -hmm. This absolute, you have to understand, it has absolutely no form. Completely formless. Okay, we got that. So now you're just rambling on and on and on. If you truly are God, if you truly created everything, wouldn't you have love for your creation? Wouldn't you like your creation to get something out of this? You're just talking about yourself. You're just talking about your limitation, your blockages. Of course, you're using a different term. You're calling it the avatar now. But in reality, you're just talking about yourself in the third person. When will the advice come? When will you tell the people what to do, how to be? Is there even a moral codex or moral ethics in this life? Is there something that we should do? Or should we just live and die? Or even better yet, just kill ourselves right away to return to the Godhead. It has to be that way because it is all form. It's the perfect paradox. It's the perfect. It has to be that way because. <sighs> because it's everything. You see? It's everything. So if you don't get that you're this the is the shift that just happened right there. Now you see that he's coming down from whatever he took and he says it's everything all of a sudden it's not i am everything any longer this is what you see in the come down of those drugs and this is why i talk about this because you can clearly see this is not sustainable this is not a true spiritual practice that is sustainable that will enrich your life it is temporary it is fleeing and now he comes back to leo who believes he is god absolute nothing else can because you are the absolute you're the only one here if you don't get it, who will? This avatar here has gotten it. Granted, it's had to go through a lot of shit to get it. Now, the reason we're having this communication is not for the sake of this avatar, but for oh, the sake thanks. of that avatar. Thank you. That avatar Thank you. so far has not gotten it yet. But I actually have gotten it. I know exactly what you speak of. As I said, I had it numerous times before until I understood that it is preless. It is spiritual deception, Leo. And you will wake up to this as well, hopefully soon. Even if you think you've had a few enlightenment experiences. Ah, no. You haven't gotten it yet. All right. All right. You haven't gotten it yet so long as there's any shred of attachment to living. You haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> so long as there's any doubt in your mind whether death might be real. <sighs> and maybe in the back of your mind you think like, well, but, eh, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's interesting to think that death isn't real. But maybe, just to be safe, why don't we treat it as though it's real? You haven't gotten it. <laughs> you, you don't got it. You don't got it. You no, that is not the issue. Now you're just talking to common folks that never had some sort of spiritual experience or, in this case, the alleged God experience. But going through those experiences and realizing they're empty, I still am in the same conviction that death is not real, of course. What is eternal is our soul that you are not talking about. You think you got it. You think you understood God. You think you are God. You're not distinguishing between God and our immortal soul. Of course, death is not the end. Of course, it goes on. Of course, death is not real. But it is real for the physical avatar, as you just described. And this physical avatar is alive as well. And it has value. 
and it has meaning and it is not here to be bastardized it is not here to be obstructed and it is not here to be let into degeneracy it is not here to live in moral relativism where anything goes it is not here to follow the doctrines of devils it is not here for that leo but this is what you don't understand you distinguish between the normies and me enlightened being that is just like me comparing a vegan diet to a standard american diet both are shit, leo the truth is of course none of those two things you're sitting on your high horse and you believe you know it all in germany we say hochmut kommt vor dem fall i type that into google here in english apparently it says haughtiness comes before the event i'm not too sure if that is the right translation what it means that pride will lead you down to hell that is that you are proud pride is a deadly sin this is all you're spewing here absolutely disgusting you gotta get that death is absolutely relative completely imaginary and that's impossible literally impo it's inconceivable i can't even imagine what it means to die right now <laughs> um but you have to understand what the eye is the eye isn't leo as you've known him the eye isn't on that note this is why we call it the doctrine of devils everything that is degenerative everything that misleads people because what you are describing is basically that life has no meaning no value and now we can just kill ourselves everything that will lead to a suicide for example is of course the doctrine of devils is of course demonic a human this is not a human speaking to you <laughs> This is the universe speaking to itself. Ah, the universe. Yeah, I see. Feel the energy of this communication. Wow. Feel the purity of this <laughs> communication. Feel the purity of this avatar sitting here. But how come I do not feel the purity? Is it because I'm so entrapped in my ego? Is it because I'm not enlightened enough? What do I have to do? God, please tell me. Right now, this avatar <laughs> is a perfect... Superconductor. Superconductor <laughs> for uh. the absolute. The absolute, like I was saying earlier, the absolute, I have no form. All right. God has no form other than all of the form that it creates. God is perfect selflessness. God is perfect love. If it's perfect love, it can't be biased towards anything. Do you understand why I have to do it this way? You see? Try to get it. The reason you can't get it is because you have so much fear in you. <laughs> you have okay. decades of, of programming, belief systems, and conditioning, which is all of it is reinforcing and holding you back from being able to fully love yourself and to realize yourself as perfect self-love. Why do kids don't realize themselves as perfect self-love then? Don't you think it's a bit contradictory? No? Society and culture has brainwashed you into this, literally. <laughs> so much so you wouldn't imagine. So, you know, <laughs> that thing you call physical reality that's something you brainwashed yourself with. Mm. Society brainwashed you with that. Mm. And when you get that, then you're free. But you have to, to totally what? get that. Not at an intellectual level. You have to get it, not even at an emotional level, at an existential, your whole body has to get it. But your body you has see. to get it, huh? So as I was saying, <laughs> this, this, right now, this is a superconductor for the absolute. As the absolute, pure formlessness, as God, I have to speak through some vehicle. Okay, tell us the great news. Through some symbolic system. It can be English, it can be Chinese, it can be Japanese, it doesn't matter, it can be alien. It can be through humans, it can be through monkeys, it can be through Martians, it can be through anything. Hmm, it can Martians. be in a dream, it can be in real life, as you guys call it. It can be um, <laughs> through guys. a book. It can be through a movie. It can, th it can be through poetry. It can be through sex. It can be through mathematics. It can be through science. Really? Through it can be through even. physics, through chemistry, through biology. It mm. doesn't matter. 
Okay. I am communicating with you. Tell me. And showing you signs of myself all the time, all the fucking time. That's what right. Do you swear, Leo. That's not nice. This is God speaking all the fucking time. I'm giving you signs. This is God speaking. See, he. <laughs> this is priceless. I'm happy that I waited for so long. So you can clearly see his ego kicking back in and he uses profanity, he uses swear words, but then he hesitates for a split second. And uh, uh, this is God talking. This is actually God talking just because I had an experience a couple of minutes back and now I am talking Leo. No, no, it's not Leo. It's God talking. Uh, uh, sh God. To wake up. Sure. Because I am you. See, if you don't get it, who will? I hope this is recording. <laughs> He's still tripping. Otherwise, he wouldn't know that it is recording. And then I guess the other thing I got to worry about is not running out of battery life. Okay. Omniscience. Wouldn't you know when the battery dies, Leo, as God? Wouldn't you know? You have exactly seven minutes left, for example. You would know all of it. Ridiculous. Proceed, proceed. Yeah, so. Hmm. See, even God has to worry about these little technical things, like the battery life or whether the microphone is working. Because otherwise, it can't come through to you. You understand this? It oh, has to take some so form blessed. you can understand. So the reason English is being used right now is because that's what this avatar has been using its whole life. And that's what that avatar over there has been using. And that's what most avatars on this planet understand and use. So that's why English is being used. Awesome. The chosen English one. doesn't have to be used. There's nothing special about English. It's completely relative. It could be any language. It could be sign language. It could Just be silence. Rumbling. Uh, dude. It could be energy. <laughs> it could be a look. It could be a smell. None of it, none of it matters. Ultimately, it doesn't get through to you. The reason the communications of God's existence don't get through to you is because God is so fucking obvious. And so fucking selfless and so fucking unself biased because it's selfless, it can't be biased. That means its love is completely indiscriminate. That it means is. I, as the absolute, have no preference, so to speak. Oh, you don't have any preference for, for? which way forms unfold. Ah. You don't have any preference. You can lay with a man as you can lay with a woman. You have no preference whatsoever, right? You have no preference when it comes down to food. You have no preference when it comes down to music. All is an illusion. Leo, understand that you are Leo. You had a simple, short glimpse. That is all. Nothing more and nothing less. You are not God. It is blasphemous. It is delusional. Now, guys, I've been recording for almost an hour already. I'm going to let it run for a little while. This has been my longest video yet. And then I'm definitely going to cut it off. So why, you might wonder, are these forms here as they are? It's a good question. Hmm. Tell us. Well, let me answer that right <laughs> now for you. Thank you. The Leo avatar is understanding this right now. It's going through oh. a process of understanding this as Channel is it. downloading from, from infinite intelligence. Ah, so no. God is infinite intelligence, infinite consciousness, just ah. it's, it's kind of like downloading the information. Mm -hmm. And so as it's being verbalized, it's also being understood for the first mm. time by the Leo avatar right now. So this is something new uh, for the Leo avatar. That's a great test that you put yourself through. Now let's see what you will come up with. This is exactly what I was speaking about. There are certain tests that you can conduct yourself in order to understand that you are not God. Even in this experiment right here, you are downloading from God. Let's assume, let's give you the benefit of the doubt. This is God. And now you are downloading it. Then 
by that definition, you already understand that there is a separation. Proceed. Um, so what was the question? The question <laughs> oh, was, why are all forms exactly as they are? And the reason is, is because this is the maximum, this is the best configuration possible for the maximization of love and beauty. So I, as the absolute, basically what I did Not you. <laughs> in my infinite intelligence um, is I, as the formless one, have constructed all of the form and I'm holding all form within my own willpower and mind because I have infinite will, infinite intelligence and infinite mind. I am infinite self. So I am, I am basically allowing all form to generate. I am generating all form for the benefit of all formed beings. And because I'm completely selfless, I'm doing this for the benefit of all those who believe they have a self. So basically what I am is I am infinite formless, formless consciousness, but then, oh my God. See, I, I, I as Leo am, am understanding this just as I'm speaking to you now. So it's, my mind is amazed by it as much as yours might be. <laughs> <laughs> I see what's going on. Oh, I get it. It's a powerful drug. Wait a minute, I lost it. It's sort of like you're in the stream, then you're out of the stream. It's weird. Okay, I, I'm going to try to get in the stream again. <laughs> right. So, yeah. in my absolute formless form, I as God am perfectly self-knowing and complete, and I, have, I really don't have ne a need for the formed realm or world. But then... Which contradicts exactly what you said in the beginning. God doesn't have a need for this realm. He doesn't need us to be the tentacles of the universe. But in the beginning, you said exactly that. So how does this add up? It is a contradiction already. Aspects of myself can't help themselves because I can't contain myself. I'm infinite. I can't contain myself to being formless. I also have to incarnate into, into all sorts of forms. So what happens is that I picture it like this. It's like the sun. Out of the sun, tendrils of, you know, like solar flares get projected out. Stuff gets shot out. Various kinds of matter and stuff bubbles up and gets, you know, projectiled out. So, uh, wow, yeah. interesting. So, um, so as, as this is getting projected out from, from infinity, from the formless, form gets created. And it's almost like a fractal. There's like fractals of form. But all of the form that gets created is going to be less than, by definition, less than the absolute, completely infinite Godhead. Exactly. Um, in a sense, you could say they're... In the they're image of God. Like lower aspects of myself. And... And so, um, <laughs> uh, and it's very juvenile. The whole experience is not embodied yet, and it won't be ever fully understood because it is just a drug induced trip. It is what it is. This is nothing permanent. I said it a billion times before. What Leo should have done is wait it out for a while and speak afterwards on his experience. So the reason that I created form this way, the way that it is, is basically to maximize my own self-exploration. I get to explore myself in various finite ways, an infinite number of finite ways. <sighs> um, uh, and then I reconnect back with myself. I realize myself. I go through various kinds of um, twisted journeys from the absolute to the limited back to the absolute. From total perfect self-love and omniscience, which is the state that's happening right now, <laughs> to, to other states where I'm completely deluded and lost and um, depraved and wicked and evil and sinful and oh wicked selfish. and evil and sinful there is such a thing yes. and completely self-absorbed and all of that hmm. so so this is what god is doing through all of its why is there wickedness why is there evil what is our position in this whole cosmic game 
What do we have to do? Should we distinguish between both? Should we accept it as such? What is our positioning? Is there a plan of God that you probably deny? What is the deeper meaning of it? You have no answers. You are not God. Anyways, guys, this is a new record here. I've been recording for an hour straight, way too long as it is. I stopped the video at 32 minutes and it still goes on for 50 more. If you enjoy this long format, please let me know in the comment section if I should proceed and then I will. Otherwise, let me know what you think about this enlightenment, this awakening of Leo. All right, long enough. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. If you want raw grass-fed liver, but you cannot stand the taste, Grassland Nutrition has the solution. Grassland Nutrition takes grass-fed organic beef liver raw and freeze-dries it for you. It is a convenient, fantastic way to get the nutrition of liver without the taste. So we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic no matter if it is health lifestyle or nutrition related on top of that by joining you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide it is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals no matter if you're keto primal paleo or even raw all right but this is it for today thank you very much for your support guys and as always, much love and peace.